Good afternoon. Uh, in this video, I'm going to briefly look at another uh, verse that uh, James White is dishonest about. Uh, John 1.18. Uh, you'll find the uh, uh, modern version, especially, especially in New American Standard Bible. Uh, they put in the only begotten God, which is a uh, heresy. Because God can't be begotten. It is a uh, Arian heresy. And in page uh, 324, he starts looking at some of these variant readings here, defending that uh, that corrupt reading of uh, Theos as opposed to uh, Weos. And he says here, uh, in reality, we find uh, five variant readings in the manuscript tradition here, two of which obviously give rise to the others. Here's the textual evidence as given by the United Bible Society's fourth edition text. And he cites from here Menogenos uh, Theos and then um, whole Menogenos Theos. And then he goes on, when, with, what, when a definite article whole is passed, passed over, the reading only begotten God more properly, <coughs> excuse me, unique God, is found in the two oldest manuscripts, uh, and then uh, P66, P75, as well as both Alf, Alf and B. Given the antiquity of these manuscripts and the correlation of the great uh, universals, this reading bears great weight. Note also that the Syrian, Borgian, and Coptic translations support this reading, this rendering. A survey of the Fathers also shows the reading's widespread nature in such a notably orthodox manner as Gregory of Nicaea, astonished to find the doctrine of Trinity used for the reading and found no objection to it. He utilized it often in his writings as evidence of the glory of Christ. The evidence of the reading in whole Menegos, Menegonias, we ask is great indeed, is obviously the majority reading the manuscripts, the translations, and the Fathers. Though some fathers show, show familiarity with more than one reading. The last two variants, Menogenes, we are still, and the whole uh, Menogenes, plainly rose from the preceding variants and command little manuscript support. The question immediately facing the person designing to know John's original wording is clear, given that both readings have ancient attestation. One commanding the earliest papyri, P66 and P75, and the other majority of the manuscript tradition. How can we count for the rise of variant at this point? Which reading gives us the most logical reason for others' existence? So now this is going to go the this is the West Hort methodology of trying to figure out a, uh, a variant reading. He goes, therefore, after he goes in another paragraph here, uh, therefore it's most logical to conclude that Menogenes Theos is the original reading that gave rise to all the variants, because he's saying it's a conflation. He says the earlier paragraph, he says, well. Do a doctrinal conflation. Uh, see what West Gotten what theory doctrinal uh, passages will sub su suspect. So uh, he thinks some scribe put in uh, sun there as opposed to theos. Uh, it is the original reading that gave rise to the other variants, including the reading found in the majority of Greek texts. The internal evidence, especially coupled coupled with the ancient attestation of the reading of the papyri, leads to want to take that this this reading with confidence. And this decision is not reached is not reached to the Gnostic or heretical beliefs or leanings, but to the external evidence itself. <clears throat> As always, he leaves something out. And the one of the points he made on uh, when his uh, part one of his uh, response to Gib uh, was the fact that uh, not all Alexandrians were heretics, and he makes the point of Athanasius, the great defender of the Trinity. And he leaves out the little fact here that Athanasius was one of the church fathers that supported the Weos reading, uh, the great defender of the Trinity, went against uh, the Alexandrian reading and supported the correct reading of Weos. And that's what you get when, uh, that's what you get when you get uh, James White. You're going to get uh, facts that he wants you to see, uh, but the facts that dispute or undermine what he, what he wants you to believe, uh, he's going to conveniently leave out. So Athanasius, the uh, uh, great defender of the Trinity, uh, believed Weos should be in that uh, verse, not um, not uh, Theos. Theos is the uh, wrong reading, a begotten God, uh, a unique God. Uh, whatever that means uh, is a false reading. He's a begotten son because God, Christ came in the flesh uh, in time. And uh, that's he was begotten in time, not begotten in eternity. That's a heresy. Uh, it might says that uh, uh, God was begotten in eternity. That's, that's an Arian heresy. And um, we, that, and that originated with uh, origin, uh, the idea that you get a, a subordinate God, uh, any God that's uh, begotten would be uh, subordinate to the one who begotten. But the Son was begotten in time, and so uh, 
this is a heresy. So new version, new age uh, people always say, well, show us the incorrect reading. Where's the, where's the heresy? John 1 18 is a heresy. If you have a new American standard Bible, clearly you know, that uh, they have a begotten God. And uh, there you have a, uh, an Arian heresy that uh, Athanasius uh, rejected. And uh, one of the church fathers stood against it, <clears throat> of course, but that's the fact that James White is going to leave out. And uh, so that's, that's the scholarship you get uh, when you're reading uh, James White. Amen. Thank you.